Hey guys, it's Jeff and in today's video we are showing you guys how to update to iOS 13 if you have an iOS 13 compatible device. Now, if you are wondering if your device is actually compatible with iOS 13, there's a list on screen here to show you all of the devices that can support iOS 13. Simply put, if your device is not on this list, you will have to upgrade to one of these devices to access iOS 13. There is unfortunately no way around that, so please do not ask. Unfortunately, there's just no way around uh, kind of the iOS 13 compatibility list at this time. So now that's out of the way and uh, you have checked if your device is compatible or not, let's move on to the two ways you can go ahead and update to iOS 13. Now, if you have been enjoying the iOS 13 betas, that either be the uh, public beta or developer beta, you are going to take one extra step before we go ahead and get started. That extra step is you will need to go into your device, go to the settings app and then onto general and towards the bottom of this menu, go to profiles and delete the iOS 13 beta profile that be the developer or public beta profile and once you've gone throughout that entire process of deleting that profile just make sure you give your device a quick restart and then you can go ahead and move on to the next steps here. Now, the first update method that we'll go ahead and take a look at is the over-the-air software update method. And this method is the simplest method because all you have to do is go into the settings app, then onto general, and then onto software update. And the update for iOS 13 will go ahead and pop up there. Now, there are a couple of things that I do recommend you do uh, before updating to iOS 13. One very crucial thing, number one, is back up your device. I personally use a program called Amazing. It backs up everything um, on my device and backs up the layout of my apps and everything like that. It's a very useful tool that I use uh, for Mac and PC, so I do recommend checking that out via the link down below. You can also use iCloud Backup or you can use iTunes as well. Uh, just make sure that you do have a solid backup of your device before you get started. Now, the second thing you want to do is make sure that you have a good charge on your device. And I always recommend keeping your device plugged in to a power source during the update process. These updates can take quite a bit of time and can take quite a bit of battery because you're downloading um, the software for one and then you are installing, which takes up a lot of battery as well. So just to make sure that you don't lose power during your update process, uh, just have it plugged in and uh, you won't have any issues there. Now, the third thing is just make sure you have enough space for an install. So these update files can be quite large. Just make sure you have enough space on your um, storage, on your iPhone or um, any other iDevice that you may be updating to iOS 13. Just make sure you have enough storage. Now, the last thing is make sure you have some time. I know a lot of people start the update process and maybe they need to use their device and uh, they just can't because you are installing an iOS 13 or iOS update. Uh, this update process can take quite a while. So typically the uh, download may take about like 30 minutes and then the entire install process might take around like 40 to 50 minutes. So um, the total process for the iOS 13 update may take up to an hour or it may be as little as 40 minutes. Uh, we don't really know. That's all dependent on download speeds and uh, the overall install time for your specific device. So just make sure you have enough time when going about this update. So once you've ensured that you've done all of those things, uh, you can go ahead and make sure um, that you go about the update process. Um, the update process is pretty simple. It will just ask you to download and install the iOS 13 update. And once it is downloaded properly, you can go ahead and tap the install button and uh, the phone or your iDevice will go ahead and update to iOS 13 on its own. So that was the first method uh, to updating your iDevice to iOS 13. There is of course a second method and that is updating via a computer. Now there's really no reason to be updating via a computer these days other than uh, maybe you just want a more secure update and it's also faster. As I mentioned before, the download speeds can vary, especially if you're on an iPhone. So if you want a faster uh, kind of overall download process, updating via iTunes or the final app in macOS Catalina 
or via Amazing may be a faster option for you guys if you want to download and install the update just that little bit quicker. Now the kind of update process is about the same. Make sure you go throughout the same steps um, as before those four steps, um, but there is a few more steps here if you are using a computer. Now I always recommend using Amazing for the update process, so link to that in the video description down below. It can update to iOS 13. You don't have to fiddle with iTunes or uh, Mac OS Catalina or anything like that. Um, but what you will do is go to the link in the video description down below uh, to IPSW. You will download the iOS 13 update file. And then from there, you will go throughout updating through Amazing. Um, just very important have that backup of uh, iOS 12.4.1 or whatever version of iOS 12 you run because you do not want to lose any data should your phone um, you know, not go throughout the installation process properly. Now, going throughout the update process through iMazing is quite simple. They have a lot of prompts and it's very easy to understand. Of course, if you have any questions um, about that process, you can go ahead and comment those in the comment section down below. So guys, those were the two installation methods that you can use to update to iOS 13. Very important for all of you who have been on the betas, make sure you delete that beta profile so the iOS 13 update shows, on, shows up on your device via that software update update menu. Now a quick disclaimer for all of you wanting to update to iOS 13, I have to say this, um, battery life may not be as good on iOS 13, your, your mileage may vary with that, speed and performance may vary uh, between you know each person's experience. I personally have had a fantastic experience and uh, you definitely want to check out our speed test videos on iOS 13 versus iOS 12. We're seeing a lot of speed and performance, but uh, you know, just for some people, the the experience might be poor updating to iOS 13. So uh, be wary of updating. Uh, there's a lot of apps that aren't currently uh, supporting iOS 13. The developers have yet to update their, their apps. Uh, so you may be seeing a lot of battery drainage and everything like that. So just be aware, if you update to iOS 13, you may uh, kind of suffer from a little bit of issues here and there. But so far, my experience has been phenomenal and I'm not really experiencing many issues whatsoever. Now, if you want to uh, wait, uh, for the update, you can go ahead and um, you know wait until the developers uh, for your specific app, apps update their apps for iOS 13 to be iOS 13 compatible, or you can wait for the subsequent um, update to iOS 13, which will likely be iOS 13.0.1 or iOS 13.1, whichever one comes first. So guys, thank you for watching this installation tutorial video on how to update to iOS 13. If you have any comments, questions, or anything like that on the process of updating, definitely leave those in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. If this video helped you whatsoever, make sure to like it, give it a share on Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media platform you use, and also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button to get updates as soon as we release any future content. We have a lot of content coming up on speed tests with iOS 13, uh, speed tests with the iPhone 11 lineup, and Apple Watch unboxings as well you will not want to miss all of that content. So again, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys in those videos. But until then, I hope you all are enjoying iOS 13. Peace. Hawthorne provides you with the best smelling and most personalized hygiene setup hands down. Basically, all you have to do is take a quick quiz and Hawthorne takes your results, creates a custom smell for you, and then provides you with shampoo, conditioner, body wash, deodorant, and even cologne to add that special touch to getting ready in the mornings. Best thing is the scents are set up for you so you know that you'll be smelling like one of a kind. So guys, go check out Hawthorne using the link in the video description down below. And also, if you use the code down below here, uh, you'll get 20% off your first order.